Welcome to another exciting installment of the most watched nature show on television. On today's episode, we delve deeper into the lives of the majestic beast, Touristus Augustinus. Come with us on our journey this week on Nature's Kingdom. Perhaps the most interesting thing about this elusive creature is its treatment of its young. There is a reverence, a respect between the elders and their young children found nowhere else in the animal kingdom. In fact, the children control almost every aspect of the pack's lives. They control what they do, where they go, Many of them even require their pack members to push them in a wheeled contraption resembling a throne. This one commands so much respect from its pack members that they've chosen to adorn her with a small crown. Truly marvelous beasts indeed. Unfortunately, that tourist cub, like all others, will soon grow into a disgusting mess like this one. A tourist cub's food left behind, all too often are they eaten by predators before adulthood. As if to demonstrate the circle of life, here we see two elderly tourists contemplating their own death. Here we can observe two snowbirds caught in the loop of photographic insanity, a scourge that plagues thousands of tourists every year. Oh dear, we've been spotted. Time to move on. This phenomena seen here is known as Rotunda Face. An interesting hierarchy exists amongst the Touristus Augustinus. If you look closely at some of the female specimens you find, you'll notice some of them holding a coffee-based drink. It distinguishes some members of the pack as the most basic of bitches. Unlike with their coffee-based drinks, eating is a less social exercise. Often done in solitude, grazing for the touristus can be a debilitating vice. However, some still manage to find joy in it. Beautiful. Join us next week on Nature's Kingdom. Cradle it. I like want to squeeze it too tight. Cradle it. Just cradle it.